Well, Cassie said it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride in the weather world this yeah, week. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Obviously, you know, yesterday it was so very warm and so very windy, and we had all the wildfires, and that's been our biggest headline, you know, the past couple of days. And uh, we will see some better weather eventually. But man, yesterday was a huge day uh, for the firefighters, our storm trackers. They were out there since pretty early on. I know Marty Logan, he started pretty early as well, and you can tell that, yeah, a lot of this eventually lasted into the evening and overnight hours. So the fires are still very much ongoing, but uh, lots of loss uh, from a lot of these fires in parts of western Oklahoma and obviously out in the Texas Panhandle. We're not only talking about at least five homes that were lost, but who knows how at this point how many cattle were actually lost. That's going to take time to uh, count and everything. You can see how quickly the fires are spreading all across the highways and just looking at it, it almost looks like an apocalypse. You know, it's just from a big view. The fires were huge and again, starting pretty early on out in the Texas Panhandle, then it started in the Oklahoma Panhandle and then we had a couple of those uh, fires that eventually merged together. And let's go ahead and go to Marty Logan shot right now because uh, Marty, we've seen a few hot spots popping back up since early this morning. Uh, go ahead and give us an update on what you're looking at specifically. Okay, I'm just about two miles north of Gage and you're looking back to the west of some pretty heavy smoke in one spot. Now that would be north of Shattuck. Also, Woods and Woodward County strike teams are in Ellis County or en route to help with hot spots. And then just before we went on air, Roger Mills County is headed to Allison, Texas. That's just right there on the border uh, to assist with the fire down there. And I could see that fire from Fargo. I could see heavy smoke. So we're not done out here yet. We do have light winds, and I'm 43 degrees. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Marty Logan. So, yes, we obviously still have some hot spots and the fires that are still ongoing, and uh, crews have been working tirelessly to get some of these out, but it's just going to take some time. The good news is at least the wind today, it's going to work more so in our favor. It's going to be lighter, especially as time goes on and temperatures are a lot cooler as well. Let's go ahead and go to Links 1. Let me show you where all the fires have been. Now, we had several of those in eastern Oklahoma, but the biggest ones obviously taking place out to the west, the biggest in the Texas Panhandle that eventually moved into parts of Roger Mills and Ellis County. So big day yesterday, and unfortunately, we're still going to be putting out some fires today. You can kind of see just uh, south of Shattuck where that another fire hotspot is here in Oklahoma. Several of those hotspots right now in the Texas Panhandle. Some high clouds, some mid-level clouds starting to move in, especially south of I-40. Temperatures are a lot colder than yesterday. This is our Blanchard camera, but our Lucky Star Sky Chem Network, more of a filtered sunshine with 36 degrees, and it went out of the north-northeast only at eight miles an hour this round. 39 in Chandler, 36 in Piedmont, 36 degrees in Bethany, and 39 right now and more. We do have some low to upper 30s across the north and western Oklahoma. We've got lots of low 40s, low 40s and upper 30s across the south. There's your wind right now out of the north, anywhere between about 5 to as much as around 20 miles an hour, more so in southern Oklahoma. But out to the west, we do have wind gusts as high as around 15 to 20 at times. Wind chills in the upper 20s and low 30s for a lot of us. Huge difference compared to where we were this time yesterday. We're 37 degrees cold colder in Oklahoma City, but there are spots where it were actually over 50 degrees colder in parts of north central Oklahoma. So again, the big picture just kind of showing some showers that are going to continue to move off to the south and east. We're going to be staying dry, although we could certainly use a little bit of rain, and that's coming from the southwest. That's going to be happening as we get into tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. It doesn't look like a lot, but we have to take what we can get at this point. It could be so cold, in fact, though, that we could see a rain and snow mix in parts of western Oklahoma. By Friday, things are starting to look warmer. It also looks a little bit more breezy, so obviously we're going to have to watch that wildfire threat again. But temperatures in the mid-60s this weekend, temperatures in the 70s, potentially the 80s before this next storm system moves on by. Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to have a huge impact on Oklahoma as far as storm chances are concerned, but it will bring in some cooler temperatures. But we're only dropping to the 60s, so calling it mild. By the time we get to Wednesday, there's another chance of rain and storms. And then after that, later in the week, here comes a much stronger storm system that could potentially bring yet another round of rain and storms across parts of the state. Today, though, it's going to be pretty chilly. We're not going to make it out of the upper 40s for a lot of us, about 46 in Ponca City, 52 in Ardmore, about 52 later today in Lawton. Overnight tonight, we're dropping back down into the upper 20s and low 30s, so about 30 degrees here in Oklahoma City, 28 in Enid, 32 degrees in Hobart, 34 in Lawton. There is your chance of a rain and snow mix by tomorrow morning out to the west, a chance of drizzle in the morning in Oklahoma City, but the chance of showers will be, up, be going up later in the afternoon and evening, and even the chance of rain and snow increasing out to the west by tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow's going to be a little chilly again. We're back in the low to mid 40s by Friday. We will see some improvement. Now we're looking at 60s and 70s this weekend. It looks pretty quiet and a lot warmer. Lisa, back to you.